So I really love this question. Others have asked similar questions, but I'm going to put this a different way now. The reason why we don't have a thorium fuel cycle is because when the United States developed the original uranium fuel cycle that the rest of the world is using, it would have cost twice as much. So in order to cut the costs, we realize, well, we'll have to do a, a, a thorium mining, we'll have to do thorium milling, we'll have to do thorium fuel fabrication, we'll have to do a reprocessing cycle where we can extract the inbred uranium-233 from the activated thorium-233. And none of that was present when we were developing the uranium fuel cycle as all of that had to be developed or an equivalent had to be developed for the uranium fuel cycle. And so we got one fuel cycle for half the cost of two fuel cycles. It really is just as simple as that. One was enough to give us all the energy that we could want should we choose to use nuclear energy. So why do two fuel cycles if one is sufficient? And that was pretty much the logic that they used. If there's nothing stopping us other than the money that would be required to do the design. And now we would also want to do a lot more research to make, make it far more safe and far, far more environmentally friendly than the earlier designs that were done back in the 60s. So I hope that helps. Thorium is a great idea. It's far more plenteous in the earth and there is no reason to stop or to not do it other than it just requires infrastructure money. So I hope that helps. Keep the questions coming. Thanks.